In this video, we are going to look at how to translate a parabola to change the nature of roots. Now, I've addressed nature of roots a couple of times already, but I am going to do a quick recap. So, when we refer to roots, we are talking about the solutions of an equation, but graphically, roots represent the x-intercepts, okay, or points of intersection. Points of intersection should make sense to you if you consider that the x-axis is in fact a horizontal line and our x-intercepts are the points of intersection of the x-axis and the parabola. So if we look at the first parabola on the left, this parabola has no x-intercepts. Okay, No x-intercepts, no points of intersection. It has no roots. Or we also say that the roots are non-real. The middle parabola touches the x-axis just once, which means it has one x-intercept. But if we consider that the equation of a parabola is quadratic, and quadratic equations have two solutions, one x-intercept means that the two solutions are actually equal. So the middle parabola has two equal roots. The parabola on the left cuts the x-axis at two points, which means it has two x-intercepts. And both the x-intercepts are not the same, so they are unequal. So we say that there are two unequal roots. Okay, now let's look at a question that requires us to change the nature of roots of a parabola. In this example, it says, consider the graph of f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals, and we are also given the turning point form, x minus 1 or squared minus 4. Now, before I go to the question, I just want to point out what is clear from this graph. Um, we can see where the graph has x-intercepts at negative 1 and 3, and for ease, I have made them very bold red dots. Okay, We can also know what the turning point is. The turning point's coordinates are 1, negative 4. We can know that from the graph or from the equation. Okay, now if we look at the question, it says, determine graphically, so by using the graph, the values of k for which x squared minus 2x plus k equals 0 has equal solutions or roots. Okay, so let's break this down. It's asking us to give the values of k. So to give the values of k, we need to understand what k represents. So if we compare the equation here in a to the parabola, we've got x squared minus 2x, and then where the parabola has minus 3, our equation here has plus k. Okay. But in standard form, the k there is in the position of c, which normally represents the y-intercept. So k is our y-intercept. So k represents the y-intercept. Now, what we have here is an equation, okay, where y is equal to 0. So the 0 means y equals 0. And if I let y equal 0, I am finding the x-intercepts. So in this situation, the solutions or roots that we are referring to are x-intercepts. Now, it says has equal solutions. So we want to find the values of k, so in other words, the y-intercept values, where this graph, okay, the parabola intersecting with the x-axis, the line y equals 0, okay, has equal solutions. So where it has only one y, sorry, one x-intercept.
Okay, so currently the graph has two x-intercepts. So in order for it to have only one x-intercept, we need to shift the graph up. Okay, now the turning point sits at a y-coordinate of negative 4. So to shift the graph up to a point where it sits, where the turning point sits on the x-axis, we would be shifting the graph up by 4 units. Okay. So if I shift the graph up by 4 units, let's just see where it roots it. I'm shifting every point up by 4 units, the y-intercept up by 4 units, so the graph sits over here. Okay, so to have just one x-intercept, or in other words, equal solutions, we need to shift this graph up by 4 units. Okay, but we are required to give the values of k. k, again, represents the y-intercept. So it's asking us for the y-intercept value if the graph has just one x-intercept. Okay, so if we look at our shifted graph, what is the y-value? Sorry, the y-intercept value. It is 1. Okay, so your answer to this question is k, the value of k, equals one. Then we go on to question B. So we have the same graph. Okay, so consider the graph of f of x, the same graph. It says determine graphically the values of k, again, for which, and if we look at B now, it says x squared minus 2x plus k equals 0. Okay, so again, y equals 0, which means we are finding the x-intercepts. Okay, and x squared minus 2x plus k is almost exactly the parabola, but now k represents the y-intercept, so it's not quite the parabola, but we are looking for the y-intercept values. If the graph were to be shifted so that this equation has non-real solutions, okay, so if you consider that solutions or roots are points of intersection, we are in this equation solving simultaneously for points of intersection. Remember that when we solve simultaneously, we have two graphs that are solved for y, and if we equate them, we get an equation which we can solve for x. This is what we have here. On the left, I've got x squared minus 2x plus k, which represents a parabola. On the right, I have the line y equals 0. So I'm solving simultaneously for a parabola and a horizontal line, which in this case happens to be the x-intercept. Okay, so if we look at the graph currently, I have two x-intercepts, but that's not what we want. We want non-real solutions, which means no x-intercepts. So this is asking us, for the y-intercept values, so the k-values, where this graph has no x-intercepts. So that means we have to shift this graph up. Now, in the previous answer, we had seen that if we shifted the graph up by 4 units, we it would sit on the x-axis and we would have one x-intercept. We now want no x-intercepts. So we need to shift it up beyond 4 units. So if I say 4.5, okay? My turning point would move there, move every point up by four and a, four and a half. There's my y-intercept, its symmetrical value, moving the x-intercepts up by four and a half. So my graph would sit there, and as you can see, I have no x-intercepts. Okay, but I could have shifted the graph up a lot more than four and a half units. I could have shifted the graph up there, for example. Okay, or even higher up there. Okay, so there's more than one k value that is a correct answer to this question. So, what are the possible y intercept values that would make this statement true? We saw in the previous question that if k is 1, so if the y intercept is 1, it has one x intercept. But now, if I shift the graph further up, I would have no x-intercepts. 
So in other words, my answer for K is any value greater than 1. So compare this answer to the previous answer to make sure it makes sense to you. Okay. Right, now we have the same graph, the same question, except now it says determine graphically the values of k for which x squared minus 2x plus k equals 0. So I've got that same equation has two real unequal solutions. Okay, so now I am wanting two x-intercepts. Why do I know x intercepts? I'm looking for x-intercepts. Because I'm again working with y equals 0. Okay. And again, k is in the position of the y-intercept value. So in my answer, I want to give the y-intercept values that make the statement true. Okay. So in the previous two questions, we saw that if I shifted the graph up four units, I have one x-intercept. If I shifted it up beyond four units, I would have no x-intercepts. So how can I ensure two real unequal solutions, or in other words, two x-intercepts? To ensure that, I, need, I can move the graph vertically, but I, if I cannot move it more than four units. Okay, so for example, if I shifted the graph up by three units, okay, it would move there. 3 units, just shifting every point up by 3 units. Okay, my graph would sit there. What if I shifted the graph down? Okay, I could shift the graph down and I'd still have two x-intercepts. Okay, so again, there's more than one possible answer. Now, I need to give all the values of k that are true. Okay, so... From the previous questions, we saw that if I move the graph up four units, I have exactly one solution. If I move the graph up more than four units, I have no x-intercepts. So if I shift the graph less than four units, I would always have two solutions, two x-intercepts. Okay, so what does that tell me about my k-value? Okay. We I had just one x-intercept, the k value was 1. The y-intercept was 1. Where I had no x-intercepts, I had shifted the graph more than 4 units, then the y-intercept was any value greater than 1. Okay, now where I want two x-intercepts, it must be any value less than 1 to ensure that I have two x-intercepts. So to answer the question, I'm answering in terms of the values of k, k would be less than 1. Okay. Now these questions are different to the previous three questions. So take careful notes of how they differ. Okay. I have the same graph and the same initial question it says consider the graph of f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 3 okay and it says determine graphically the values of k for which so again i'm looking for the values of k but if we look at the question it says x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals k has equal solutions so my k has changed position in the equation which means it no longer represents the y-intercept, okay? Because if I look at the left-hand side of the equation, I have x squared minus 2x minus 3, which is exactly the parabola, okay? So what I have here is the parabola, okay? So what I have here is an equation y equals k which represents a horizontal line, okay? So what is happening in this equation is I have two graphs, a parabola and a straight line, so a horizontal line, that intersect each other, okay? And I need to give the value of k, which would ensure that this equation has equal solutions. 
equal solutions means one point of intersection. Okay, so in order to give the value of k, I need to give the, find the equation of the horizontal line that would intersect the parabola once. Okay, now that would be the line that passes through the turning point. So over here. Here I have a horizontal line. Its equation is y equals negative 4 that cuts my parabola only once at the turning point. Okay, so in this case, the k value is the negative 4. So my answer would be k equals negative 4. Okay, if we look at question D, so the same graph, the same question asking for the values of k, it says x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals k has non-real solutions. Again, I have the parabola as given, and then I have y equals k. Okay, so this is again a horizontal line that is going to intersect or not intersect my parabola. Now what am I looking for? Where it has non-real solutions and that is where it doesn't intersect. So no points of intersection. Okay, so... I want the equation of a horizontal line that would not intersect that parabola at all, okay? And I can see if I draw a horizontal line at y equals negative 4 and a half, it doesn't cut the parabola. But that's not the only horizontal line I can draw. I could draw a horizontal line at y equals negative 5, or even at y equals negative 10, okay? So there's more than one horizontal line that wouldn't cut the parabola and I need to account for them all in my answer. Okay, so if we look at these, if y equals 4, it would give one solution. Okay, so anything less than y equals negative 4 would have non real solutions, no intercepts, points of intersection. Sorry, so in this case, y sorry, k can be any value less than negative 4. The final question, the same graph, the same question asking for the values of k, for which x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals k has two real unequal solutions. Again, I have the parabola and a horizontal line y equals k that will intersect the parabola. Okay, And in this case, I want to ensure to, that I have two real unequal solutions. So two points of intersection. Okay, so I want the equation of the horizontal line that would cut the parabola twice. So if I look, I could have horizontal line at y equals negative 3. It would cut the graph twice. I could have a horizontal line at y equals negative 2. It would cut the graph twice. I could have a horizontal line at y equals 9 that would cut the graph twice. Okay, so there's more than one answer and I need to account for them all. Okay, so we saw that where y equals negative 4, where that's my k value, negative 4, it cuts the graph once. If I move the horizontal line just above y equals negative 4, so that would be y equals negative 3 comma 9 9 9 9 9 I straight away already get two points of intersection so my k value would be any value that is greater than negative 4 then I would have two points of intersection so k is greater than negative 4